Mind Gap Podcast. Hey everybody, welcome to Mind Gap Podcast. I'm Doug. I'm Justin, and Doug, if you became invisible for the day, what would you do? Oh, boy. Right? Oh. Right? Boy, what would I do? So is this like true invisibility? Like no one can see me in that like, you know. As opposed to. Like if uh, I drink something or whatever, does it, do you see it going down my, <laughs> my body? You know, if I eat something, yeah. you know, does it. No. I think the way invisibility in my mind, the way invisibility should work, hard stop, is that if it's if something is going into you internally, it's it is uh, your body, your skin is refracting the light around you. Okay. So anything that goes into you is also invisible. Like people can't see because if that by that logic, they should be able to see all the like stomach acidity that you have. True. Yeah. Right. right. So, and or it's just maybe it's just the stuff gestating. that's not in your body, right? Like if I take like mm. orange juice and drink it, it's not my body, right? That's a foreign thing. You could watch that happening. It's like in the uh. Invisible Man movie starring Chevy Chase. You know, he does it. Right. He drinks something and he sees it and he gets sick and he throws up, you know, because he can see it happening, you know? I hear you. I mm-hmm. feel you. False. Okay. That's not how invisibility works. Do I have We're to wear talking- clothes? No, you do you you do you. Well, I'm just saying, like, actually, actually, no. If you wear clothes, uh, they can see the clothes wandering. Exactly, out. So you got to be saying. full, full nude. Yeah. Now, if I close my eyes, do I still see? Because you know, my eyes are invisible. Like my eyelids are invisible. So if I if I close my eyelids, do I still just see out my eyelids? Good question. No. Okay. Uh, because the inside of your body again is not invisible. The outside, your skin is refracting the light around you. So okay. if you close your eyes, you're still seeing the fleshy inside, the okay. fleshy inside of your eyelids. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, since you did that, this, this, now that I have all these things uh, figured out, um, I probably, God, I only have a day. That really limits right? like the range of like what I can do. Well, what would you do if you had a week? Let's start with a Verse day. Verse a day. Let's start. Let's, let's start. I would love to find my way into some like uh, bullshit politicians like office and just hang out. Okay, so if you had a few, uh, if you had well, a little bit more it. lead time, you I would get travel. I get found out. You think so? Oh, dude, my knees, my ankles would crack. You know what I mean? I'd have to take a piss and <laughs> shit at some point. You know what I mean? Like I'd fart. You ever try to just stand there and be still and try not to make noise? You know, oh, it's like, the worst. Yeah. I'm gonna run into things. The the ficus yeah. plant's gonna move as I walk by it. You know, like people are going, "What the fuck?" Just, you know, yeah, just you sitting there, just breathing. I am <laughs> six foot three. Like, there's no way I'm not gonna. People are not gonna run into me. You know what I mean? Like, it's gonna happen. You know, <laughs> you're just trying to push yourself up into the corner. It's like, where do yeah. I? Where where am I? That someone's not gonna. You know. Whatever. And I just have to be yeah. quiet. I can't burp. I can't sneeze. I can't right. cough. I can't clear my throat. You know what I mean? Mm. How fun would it be, though? Can't stay just hydrated. To a, just to take a dump in the middle of the senator's office. Like, all of a sudden, they just see turds dropping. Right. Like, now, that would be, again, here's a question. That would be amusing. If I eat that day and the food starts, you know, <laughs> digesting... You yeah, know, yeah. Then they're gonna be like, "What is that? What is that? What's, what's the? What's up with this digestive tract? What's happening? Do you do you hear that? What is that? <laughs> Why does it look like a, there's a shit just sort of like hanging out there? Okay, now it's on my desk. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of looks like uh, I don't know a number three on the stool scale, whatever it's called, the stool <laughs> softness scale. I thought you were gonna say someone did a number three. <laughs> I'm like, what is what? Is, what is that? <laughs> That doesn't uh, sound. I feel like you should get checked out if you're doing a number three. If if I had invisibility for a day, I would get in my car, I'd drive to my parents' house, and I'd fuck with them <laughs> until it wore off. I would mess with them for a day. I would drive them fucking crazy. What was some of the things that you would do? Uh, I would I would go to their fucked up cabinets in the pantry in the kitchen, which you open a cabinet and you could find uh, light bulbs. Next to uh, a can of Raid, 
next to a, uh, a flashlight next to tax documents, which also has some bullion cubes next to it as well. Um, <laughs> I would just move shit around. I would hide uh-huh. things, and I would make them basically feel like they were losing their minds. I would okay. hide remotes. I, like that. I would unplug shit because they don't know how to. I would unplug the fucking internet router. <laughs> I'd unscrew it just enough so my parent, my mom wouldn't have internet, and so they wouldn't be able to stream. And then she'd have to call somebody, and I would just do that. I would, I, I would slowly Jesus. unplug different things. I would drive them fucking nuts, nuts. And do you think that you could get away with it with again with all the uh, the digestion, the hydrating, the whole nine yards? You think they wouldn't catch on to what was going on? I mean, what are they going to do? They're old. What are they going to do? They're like, I saw a digestive tract in my in my basement. It was unplugging the router. <laughs> it was stealing the internet. <laughs> the router got unplugged, and someone took a poop on a coffee table. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah. It's so weird. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That seems like a good use of that that uh, 24-hour power. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd unplug the power to their garage, <laughs> the garage doors, so like they wouldn't be able to open their garage doors. <laughs> I just lock doors because they typically don't lock doors, so I just lock, lock them. <laughs> John, did you lock this? <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> I can't get, I can't get, you'd lock them in, not I just out. I'd lock random doors, and if they're in some place, right. I'd lock it, lock the door, you know? It'd be fun. That'd be really, really fun. The only bad that thing sounds- is, like, it's a six hour drive there, so I burn a third of my day, you know? Well, no, no. You, the thing is, you would, you'd get there the night prior, you'd check yourself into a hotel. Oh, so I knew this ready. would happen. I wouldn't wake up and just be like, you're invisible. I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. Meow. <laughs> Well, see, that's the, that's a good question. Yeah, if you if you knew, so okay, if you oh, woke if up I knew, on the I would day, absolutely be there. I would right. make sure that but I drank you, like Sprite and water only, you know, or just clear <laughs> stuff, clean food, soup, you know. So like that stuff is, you know, I don't don't have a lot for digestion, so I can't get tracked that easy, you know. I would make sure I know, <laughs> nothing carbonated. Take back the Sprite because I don't want to be burping, you know. Right. But if you woke up that day and you didn't want to burn six hours, would you still drive? I think it'd be worth it. Now that this is in my mind, I'd probably like, hey, I'm taking a, I call my boss, be like, I'm taking a day. I'll see you tomorrow. You get up, you get up early enough too. So where by the time you got there, Mm -hmm. it would still be morning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'd be like, hoorah. I like that. Yeah. How about you? What would you do? I feel like I would sneak into the local TV station and just wreak havoc. Oh my God. That would be fun. I want... I want something live on air. Like I'd I'd wake up, I'd be like, "Oh, this is happening. Cool." Uh, the local NBC affiliate is literally three blocks away from me, so that would be my first stop. I'd hoof it on over to Wood TV Eight, and I would uh, find my way inside. And then the morning news would be my show. That would and be would fun be, to go to. Like, it would be awesome if you found a show that was happening, like a concert or like a stand up oh, or something. You just hang out backstage, you know, and mm-hmm. just be like. This is going to be cool. Fuck yeah. security, you know, or some sort go, of sporting the, event. You know? I was going to say, go to the local hockey uh, down at the uh, the Van Andel Arena If the big Arena game downtown. was going on, that would be fun to be able to, you know, wander <laughs> right? around, you know. Just as as the kickoff comes, you pull a peanuts and you just pull the football right out. Because that would almost be better with a mass of people because, like, oh, yeah, it's too much. It's it's like if someone bumps into you, they're going to be like, what? they're not going to really know. You know, they're not going to really understand. Yeah. So. And you could oh man you could have fun with the you could have fun with the crowd you could mm-hmm. have fun with the players you could have fun like it's dude top imagine to just like oh it would suck it's like romantic be like man I'd tackle one of the guys while they were running towards the end zone it would hurt so bad it would you'd you be would butt not naked survive. Yes. butt naked running against a fucking professional athlete who's running but you know if they're trying to let up as they're like doing an end zone dance you just like <laughs> cut out their legs and they're like what exactly. you know. <laughs> or just do that thing where you just go on all fours and hunch over so they fall right over you. You're like, please, 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 <laughs> please, please, please. It hurts so yeah. bad. And then you start like, why is there like this <laughs> bleeding ghost wandering around the school, running around the field? There's just a random trail of blood that just seems to be manifesting. Yeah. It's the weirdest it's thing. Weird. It looks like something's vomiting blood out there, but I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> We can hear it and we can see it, but yeah. we can't see it. See it. It's strange. This is so it's strange. St- and then everyone be like, "It's scripted! It's scripted! I fucking yeah. knew it." Fox had come on and gone, "Ah, oh, the CIA's deep state shit isn't working. They That's malfunctioned." Right. Taylor Swift, blah, Taylor blah, Swift, blah. and Travis Kelsey are propped up as part of the 
the the the deep left's opportunity <laughs> to do a puppet state. Right, the deep, the uh, the deep fucking state's got phantoms working for them now. Fucking phantoms, man! Fucking phantoms! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So, as a quick, what would you do? Wh I'll ask oh, okay. the uh, audience. What would you do hey. if you woke up and you were invisible? What would you do? Let us With know. With all those in parameters, the comments, what would you do? With all do? those parameters, what would you do? In the comments, in our Discord, Doug's about to tell you more about that. Uh, what would you do what if you were invisible? You what would you do? Hey, gang, uh, as a quick reminder, we have a Discord. Link is in our description down below. Be sure to check that out, as well as links to our merch at Redbubble and our Patreon. And uh, as another reminder, I host a video game stream on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Central. Last Friday... Uh, I ended up doing American Truck Simulator. If you're wondering what that is, it's exactly what it sounds like. You are a long-haul <laughs> trucker, and you take jobs to haul stuff. And uh, a couple of people, we were going to do Ultimate uh, Chicken Horse, but a couple people had to drop out. So I was looking for a co-op game to do with Noah, and Noah was like, we should do this. And I was like, I don't know if I feel like doing this. He goes, dude, pro I promise you it'll be good. And I was like, I guess we're getting into character. And old Andy America stopped by. To, uh, to do some long haul trucking. And if you want to see me, first of all, long haul trucking, I hate driving, but if you were like, Doug, you have to uh, drive this 18 wheeler to save your family's life, I'd be like, I guess, I guess they're going to die, and I'm going to die in the process too. And uh, in this game, there were some times where like, I had to back up uh -huh. in this 18 wheeler, and it was a fucking nightmare, and it was so funny. <laughs> And you you did not do well. I did not disappoint yeah. in what was in what was possible. So uh, Noah played as a character, Damien Finger Blast or whatever his name was. What was his name? <laughs> Damien Finger Chug was his name. And, finger uh, Chug. That's finger, even better. Damien Finger Chug. And uh, he and I were just going on long hauls and uh, talking. And it was great. It was really great. Interesting thing about Damien. Uh, he married his sister, not for romance, but for tax, you know, tax breaks. So for tax purposes. Smart. So you can check out that uh, on our past live streams. Just look for that. You can check that out there as well as all of our shorts. YouTube.com slash MindGap Podcast. Show the love. We're at 440 subscribers. We're doing great. Hell yeah. I'm super excited. Hell yeah. We're closing in on that 500. So thank you all who have subscribed. Thank you all who have been, been having conversations uh, in the comments. Thanks to Richie. He and I had a nice back and forth about AI today. Another fella was talking about the Winnie the Pooh versus Paddington throwdown. We were having a long conversation over that, which is great. Uh, we love it. Thank you for the engagement. We appreciate you all. So tell us everything you got. But uh, before I move on, uh, we've got we've got an ad, and Justin's got one this week. So Justin, why don't you uh, why don't you take us to an ad? So you think you're a true patriot? Is that freedom that runs in your veins? Then it's time to put your money where your mouth is and get out there and stop the steal. The liberal media would have you believe that pizza steel is efficient at conducting and retaining heat. The woke cucks would tell you that pizza steel is indestructible and they're immune to thermal shock and won't shatter or break. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's a hot steaming bowl of Libby hog shit. <laughs> At Patriot at Patriotic Pete's Pizza Stone Pantry, we sell American-made ceramic pizza stones that were made from ancient recipes handed down from the Revolutionary War, where the true heroes built the foundation of this country, as well as the foundation for a delicious pizza. Patriotic Pete's Pizza Stones heat up in a timely fashion that will probably make the TikTok generation pitch a fit because they will actually have to wait to get something they want. That means with patience, you'll get an evenly baked pizza pie. The only way these beautiful pizza stones will crack or break is if you're stupid enough to drop them or put them in cold water when them they're, they're hot. <laughs> if, you, if you're too dumb to read the instructions, which are only in English, by the way, then maybe you don't deserve to have this piece of American history in your home. Assuming you actually bought your home, you're not living there rent-free with your parents like goddamn millennial Gen Z. It's time to get mad. It's time to get motivated. It's time to stop the steal. Head over to Patriotic Pete's Pizza Stone Pantry at StopTheSteal.com today and enter the code MindGap at checkout to receive a Stop the Steal bumper sticker and a coupon to buy gold. 
Prove you're a patriot and stop the steal. Get your pizza stone today. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, thank you to that sponsor. We always appreciate them. Appreciate your support. Uh, be sure to check them out. Air them code my gap. Check out Justin topic this week. A real mm. fun one. All right. Um, I heard this, I heard this on the news. Okay. And the gist of this is a Florida mom was banned from dropping off her kids at their private school. Now the question is why was she banned? From dropping the kids off at school. I'm going to give you a multiple choice question, Justin. Okay. I want you to choose which one you think it is. Why was this Florida mom banned from dropping her kids off at their private school? Was it because she had a Donald Trump cardboard cutout that she carried with her as she dropped off the kids? Is it because she was sporting an OnlyFans decal with a link to her personal page? Was it because she was wearing anti-abortion shirts with graphic images of aborted babies? Or was it for arguing with teachers outside of the school about banning LGBT books in the school's library? Oh, man. What does your heart want? (laughs) What does your mind want? (laughs) Wow. I'm going to tell you what my heart wants. Mm -hmm. My heart wants all of the above. (laughs) My, My heart wants E, all of the above. But I have to assume I'm not that lucky in life. So I have to assume that it's not it's not all of the above. Um, man, the th- here's the sad thing is that every one of these options that you've laid out is ex- is equally plausible in my mind. Every single one of them. Yeah. So, uh, OK, so let's go process of elimination. She was standing outside arguing with the teachers about banning LGBTQ books from the library. I The way I read that, or the way I hear that, is that she was arguing that they were banned and, like, arguing for them to be... So I'm going to say that one's, that one's out. I feel like that was, the way that that, that, was that was That meant that she was, she's arguing that they should be banned. They should be banned. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But more should be well, banned. Well, shit. <clears throat> okay, so Donald Trump cutout, OnlyFans sticker with her link on it. She was wearing a uh, anti-abortion shirt with graphic images, or she was arguing about LGBTQ books should be banned from the library. I am going to say... I do not think it's the... The abortion one seems like it's too much work for someone like that to put in. Like to actually get a, a, a silk screen uh, t-shirt... Yeah, uh, a screen print. Uh, I think it's Dude, it's so easy uh, to get teas today. Head over to redbubble.com right now and pick <laughs> up your Mind Gap tea and other merch. That's right. Uh, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to say, I think she was standing outside arguing with the teachers. That's a really, really good I guess. Think, I think that's, now I now that you've explained exactly what the phrasing on that meant, I do feel like that's the, that's the lowest hanging fruit. That's cool. That's cool. It's fucking wrong, but God it's a good guess. damn it! The real reason why this woman was banned from dropping her kids off at school is because she had an OnlyFans decal with a link to her personal yes. page on yes. her fucking car. What up, mama? Uh, I'll send oh you uh, my God. That the is news ridiculous. link uh, in case you want to peruse it. Because the whole point of this was like, I, wa- I saw this. I was like, I want Justin to guess yes. what this so is. I have, in fairness to everyone listening, I... <laughs> I stayed away from this news story today specifically because Doug wanted to surprise me with the quiz at the top. Yes. So uh, this woman. Oh, it's uh, at a Christian school. Okay. Yeah. That makes way more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, I was like, I was like, look, you show up with a Trump cutout in Florida. You're not getting turned away. Yeah, I, I was like, the way I designed these is like, some, they're just ridiculous enough. We're like, even for right. conservative people, we're like, this is kind of weird. And for yeah. the record, that Trump cardboard cutout, that's a real thing, just not in Florida. It's in Missouri. True story. <laughs> Wait, someone showed up with that and they wouldn't let him in? No, true story that someone school? drives around with a cardboard cutout of Donald Trump in their car with them. Okay. Yeah, so that one's pulled from real experience, just didn't happen in Florida. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah. So all these are like, yeah, these, these are like, they kind of fit 
with the territory, but they're not like ex- they do, yeah. but they're just like a step above. Like, man, that's aggressive, you know? Right, right, uh, yeah, right. So, uh, <laughs> this woman, uh, her name is uh, let's see here, Michelle Klein has decals advertising her OnlyFans account uh, on her car, and it's they have a picture of it on on the website. It's pretty. It's it's, listen, the decal isn't like her with her legs spread open or her like no. gaping ass or anything, but it says onlyfans.com slash Piper Fawn. Right. And it's literally just the URL. Yes. Now, here's the thing. All right. That by itself, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Right. Because I want to start off by saying like fucking sex workers, do your thing, man. I'm happy for you. I'm happy OnlyFans is a great place that people can do this. They can make money. Fucking go for it. I'm all for it. All right. Where I have a bit of an issue with this is like, I'm not saying you can't be a sex worker and have kids. That's totally fine. And I understand like, you know, people got to eat and whatever, but think about what you're doing to your kids when you drop them off with this advertising for it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Cause yep. if you just head over to that link, it also has a link to her Instagram, which is Piper 20. And if you head over to Instagram, you get a sneak peek at some of the shit that's on her page. And I just ended up there. Right. And I got to say, uh, if this was my mom, I would be a little... Uh, look, if it's behind a paywall, that's one thing. If it's just out of Instagram, I feel like that's a slightly different... Well, because Instagram thing. is also helping promote the OnlyFans. Justin, what are some of the things you're seeing on that Instagram for the for the listeners? Well, the viewers. very first... The very first uh, picture that's that's up there is her and her i'm assuming significant other uh and she they're in matching uh swimwear uh she's taking a photo of them herself in a bikini him in some board shirts and he is sporting a massive erection yeah well i don't want to be too he's he's sporting an erection yeah let's not go crazy he's not a he's not a star yeah um but then you scroll down and there's it's her lifting her shirt up. It's, you know, uh, bikini pick, bikini pick, topless pick, bottomless pick. And the topless uh, picks are like the nipples are covered with graphics and things like that. Sure. They've got emojis on. I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look, th- look, she's adhering to she is adhering to Instagram's rules. Mm-hmm. Like, like she's not showing anything overtly uh, graphic, but it's all there. You know, like yeah. I, this is this is one of those things where if I if I could. If I found out at a young age that my mom had uh, an account like this, I personally would have been devastated. Because <laughs> again, I'm a pretty sex positive person. Like I, I again, yeah. I think OnlyFans is a great way for people to do their stuff safely on their own and earn an income. I think that's great. Uh, listen, I know you got a market. That's a big part of this, right? But you also got to consider like. I don't know. Me personally, if I'm doing this stuff, do I want my neighbors to know that I'm doing this stuff? Again, like you don't, you shouldn't feel ashamed, but there is a social stigma about this stuff. You know what I mean? I I guess I just, to me that it, it really comes down to, and look, I don't have kids, but it comes down to when you have kids, you also, there's an element where you, you, you do give up a a little bit of yourself. Mm -hmm. Like you need to retain some of who you are. But when you have kids, the focus shifts to what's good for my my children. And if if this is if this is the thing that all of their friends can find and they can find like you don't know what kind of ridicule you're opening them up to in school. It it just it makes it I don't know. It's a little I, I'll say this again. If it's behind a paywall, that's one thing. Yeah. But when you're putting this kind of stuff out there and there's a difference between a lot of the stuff, some of the stuff that she's posting on the Instagram here is tame. Like there's definitely there's there's like pics of her in boy shorts and uh, just like Mm -hmm. random bikinis and stuff. And that's whatever. That's fine. But it's the uh, the stuff where it's a little bit past. It's overtly sexual. I'm like, look, you know what you're doing here. And it's. I don't know. It it just seems it seems like you could be really setting your kids up for a hard time. Well, that's because the thing at the end of the day is like if we go back to it, like should she be banned from dropping her kids off from school? Because the whole reason was they're like, hey, this isn't cool. Essentially, that you're pulling up with your OnlyFans account, and everyone at the school can see this. The idea is like, 
hey, any kid, I don't know how old this these kids are at the school, but right. anyone with a phone, she's like, the link, she's like, it's just a link. The link doesn't show you anything. It's like, yeah. The point is, like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's weird because I, I, at the risk of sounding like a prude, I'm like, this is really not cool, man. Like, I know how I was when I was a, a, a boy. And if it's like, and I probably would have known what OnlyFans is. And so I'm just looking here. Liberty Christian Preparatory School. So it looks like just based on these pictures here, I'm going to guess that it is a middle school. Oh, that's even worse. Maybe it maybe feeds into high school because I usually prep schools, I feel like are schools that prep you for college. Right. So. It feels like some of these kids are a little older, but some of them look younger. So I'm going to say ju- like junior high into high school is pr- is my guess. And I'm looking on the website trying to see if I can figure out what what grades they actually house. But uh, about it's K here. it's K through twelve, so kindergarten. Well, there through, you go. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So, so I'm not right. Yeah, so it, it's it's all. So yeah, again, you've got you've got kids. You're rolling up, and you've got kids who are. Seventh through twelfth are very well aware of how to look. This I would up. even say, hey, there's kids that are younger than seventh that know what's yeah. what's up with this, right? Like this is, yeah. this is uh, everyone knows what this is, and and uh, it, 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 I mean, listen again, you do what you got to do. Um, <clears throat> a, 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 a being, I don't know, all I can think of is those kids, and they're getting dropped off. <laughs> you know the shit that they're getting. Like, hey, oh, how's, yeah. hey, how's your mom? <laughs> or right. hey. I sub to your mom. Nice. You know? Nice. <laughs> and not to mention, it's like, then she shows up to like events and stuff like that. It's like, I've seen your tits. You know? Like, it's just, <laughs> I'm sorry. you know, like, I mean, I've seen the inside of your asshole or whatever it is. Um, it's it's interesting because in this uh, in this article, she says that her OnlyFans link. Now, this see, this is where I find it where there's an interesting twist. Her OnlyFans link does not include explicit content and is a source of income for her family. She wants to keep the decal on her car to bring in more customers. I feel singled out. Right now, the kids are getting singled out. I feel singled out. She has only had she's had an OnlyFans decal in her car car for two years. Excuse me, and only recently has it been the center of attention. I find it hard to believe that there is many parents out there that are. Uh, sorry, I find it hard to believe that there is many parents and there are that many kids that are paying attention to my vehicle every morning. <clears throat> so, I will say I do not find it hard to believe. If I see an OnlyFans sticker on the back of a, of a parent who's dropping off at school, I'm going to clock that. Yeah. Like I said, I don't have kids, but I'm fairly confident if I saw that, I'd be like, interesting i've like, noticed I, that there's people in my neighborhood that have a license plate that says lube and i'm like i don't I, oh man i was oh look justin is about ready to barf up ooh, some water you can, and that's 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 true what? i saw it once a couple years ago when i was going to drop natalie off at her daycare and i was like <sighs> i tried to take a picture of him like this isn't safe i'm driving i just see this car from me just says lube I'm like, that's weird. And then I found out that they live in my neighborhood. Oh, I walked by and it's an older couple. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know what you're trying. Like, you have to know what this means, right? Like, he, I don't know. They, look, they used to own a family. They, uh, it was a body shop, right? They owned, right. Uh, they used to work on cars and they, it was very innocent back in right. the day. He's an aviator, yeah. right? You got to make sure that stuff's <laughs> all lubed up, you know? Like, you can't, you can't fly dry. That's yeah. all I'm saying. And and the thing is, like, you also have to realize that you know, you know what this, you know what lube is. You know, yeah. you know oh, yeah. the implications of the word lube and everything, but you're so proud. You like it so much. You're so infatuated that you have to make it your license plate. People are going to fucking notice that. And they're going to look at you like, what's going on over here? What's right. up with this? What's up with this couple? Are they down? Right. Listen, I know they've got a, a fucking, you know, RV that they pull out. You know, in the summertime, and they're going, and it's like, what kind of crazy <laughs> fuck parties are going on in this RV, baby? I don't know, but I tell you one thing: they're gliding, baby. They're riding and they're gliding. So they're riding and they're gliding. I'm, I'm. What I'm interested in is, is so on top of the fact that she says I feel like people don't pay that close of attention to my car. This, she says that her OnlyFans link does not include explicit content. So what because does that it's mean? behind like, a paywall. <laughs> It doesn't include explicit content. So does that mean that there's no nudity? Because the teaser photos on Instagram would suggest otherwise. 
Well, here's the thing. If she's saying, well, if you go to that link, you don't see anything. It's because you have to fucking pay. Sure. Yeah. So if that's her argument, then it's like, she's not wrong. But also, if you look at the teaser photo, it's like, we know what's behind here. <laughs> or at least we have an idea of what's behind here. You know, like, yeah, it's pretty. And all that, if I follow to your Instagram, I can also assume what's on your fucking OnlyFans. To say it's not explicit, I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> Because if it's like, well, the kids aren't gonna pay because they're not gonna they're not gonna have access to this. It's like, okay, I get it, right? But I don't know. I'm torn on this because is it wild to have this person like, hey, you can't fucking drop your kids off. Like you have to park across the street and walk, have your kids walk over. Is that necessary? I don't know. But for this woman to be like, I don't see what the problem is. I'm like, well, yeah, I think you do. <laughs> right. I would just, I, I guess I would argue, because <clears throat> again, it, it's, if, if you're doing OnlyFans, that's totally fine. Like, do what yeah. you got to do. It's, there's no shame in that game. But when you're dropping your kids off at school, maybe just put, uh, consider the audience. I think that's right. the, at the end of the day, consider the audience. If you're dropping them off at school, put something on the back that just covers, you know, covers that up, drop them off, pull out of the parking lot, pull that thing right off, and then drive around and advertise yourself. That's totally fine. Like, just or, consider the audience with where you're going. Right. If you have multiple cars, don't know. I'm not, hey, I know that's a privileged thing sure. to say. But if you have multiple cars, maybe don't take this one to drop your kids off. You know? If that's your that's only car, a, cool. Let's come up with right. a different solution. But right. if you have another one, maybe don't take that one. You know? Or just, yeah, again, consider the audience. Do do what you got to do. Fucking, that's awesome. That That's what it is. I find it, I don't know, I, th- I think it's it's partly interesting. And I think there's probably something successful to this to like drive around and people are like, oh shit, that person who drives around, lives around here, does OnlyFans. I'm curious, Look, you know? Like, absolutely. It is a brilliant, brilliant marketing because they see you driving in your car. They see that and they're like, oh fuck, she's that's a, attractive. That's she a good looking person. I'm going to sign up for this. Like, right. <clears throat> or I'm going to sub to that for a month and see what's going on. Absolutely. It's a brilliant marketing campaign. Right. In, in no way, shape, or form is that like, that's the way to do it. Right. But consider the audience that is seeing your know where you're going yeah. and adjust accordingly. Right. You don't need to I don't feel like you need to pick up subscribers from your children's school. It yeah. just feels that feels like the wrong audience. To I don't me. think she should feel ashamed. No. I think I mentioned that earlier. I said something like there's a certain amount of shame that comes with this. I'm not saying that's good, but it just mm-hmm. does. But consider like um you know, like how that might make other people feel when they're dropping their kids off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, or again, your I keep stressing your kids. Like, it's mm-hmm. not it's not about you. It's about your kids. Yeah. And what other people's kids. Are you I'd putting say. them in? And yeah. other people's kids. Sure. Absolutely. Right? It's just, just what position are you putting them in? It's just, right. Because it's just I don't know. It's just something that I think it's it's this isn't we we haven't all just been like oh cool this person has sex for money that's cool you know like back in the day in uh you know 1800s like to be considered a gambler like a you know guy in the old west who'd go around and like just play poker like that was an a respected trade that people sure. did you know for a while prostitution was a respected trade as well it's like oh we're gonna go down to the whorehouse whatever it is what it is uh we're not there right now and you know the idea of like hey i'm dropping my kids off what are you doing later today oh man you have to subscribe to find out uh, let's just say i've got a couple vegetables and fruits that are gonna be going places and you're gonna want to s- check that out you know what i mean right like, exactly but even if it's not that like even if it just is like like uh, provocative f- photography. Like yeah. even if it's not sexual acts, it doesn't like it to the it. If there's nudity involved and there are children involved as a potential audience, that's all I'm saying. Kids now have access to the the amount of unfettered access they have, and 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 with the, like how many like I have, and I don't know if you do, but I like I've got my credit card information saved in. Pretty much all my devices. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming. I'm assuming you do. Mo- a lot of people do. So it's not unreasonable to think that a kid can get access to a computer to be able to automatically, just through Google or through whatever, just Apple or whatever it is, auto subscribe to something 
the parent might not even see if it's 10 bucks a month, the parent might not even see that that's happening. And this kid could have access to this thing because you're advertising when you're going to like, you've, it's just a matter of thinking it through, thinking it through to the end. Who's the potential audience that you could be advertising to? That's a really good point because I mean, if she's done this for two years, right? That's to say that maybe there were sophomores that saw that two years ago that are now seniors, juniors that saw it two years ago that are now maybe outside they have of a high school themselves. Yeah. and maybe they've subscribed to that. Like, I don't know. Maybe some people are like, Hey man, numbers are numbers, right? Rents, rents not going to pay itself, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Again, I, I'm in the, I'm in the boat of like, uh, you do you, but maybe don't do this at the school. And I think that's, that's the, the bottom line from both of us. Is the yeah. school on the right for doing this? Uh, I don't know, but I can see why they're doing it. You know, I, I do think it's weird that they're like, hey, it's been two years and no one said anything until now. And I don't know that that definitely is odd. Like, why? Why now? Like, maybe I would, more I people have noticed it. And more more people are getting upset about it. You know, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> that could be, too. Well, and also you're you're going to a Christian school. You're dropping yeah. them off at at Liberty Christian Preparatory School. Right. That you've got, you've got to assume and look, uh, maybe I'll catch flack for this. I don't give a shit. Uh, most Christians have a tight ass. I'm just saying, you know. Actually, I, actually, a lot of those asses are pretty loose because they're saving the main road for marriage. That's a fair That's point. a fact. That's a fucking that a fact. Look point. it up. Look it up. Right. Look it up. And, and, well, and then send, leave a comment and tell me that I'm not, that I'm not wrong. You know what I'm about right. uh, what about was it jump soaking? What was the thing that? We, oh uh, God! It was. Uh, what, was <laughs> what was that called? It was what soaking was is one part of it. What is it? Uh, uh, Mormon. It's Mormon. Yep. Jump soaking. <laughs> is that what it's called? Soak hopping. Jump humping. Jump humping. There it is. Yes. So and it's jump humping with soaking, right? Yes. 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 So yeah, who knows? Who knows what everyone's into? I'm just saying, like, if you if you're going, it's it's all these things that add up on themselves, right? Like you're dropping them off at a Christian school. You already know where a lot of the people are probably gonna sit. Like you know that there's there's probably a little bit more conservative skew to the demographic that goes there. And you roll up with not just an OnlyFans sticker, but an OnlyFans sticker with a with a with the personal URL that's yours. And also is just two digits off from your Instagram handle that anyone can find. I'm just saying. I always say, just real quick, I want to take a, a quick deviation, just kind of in, in, in the lane here of this stuff. Isn't the ingenuity of humans just absolutely fascinating in that, like, you know, you hear about all the time in prisons, like what people are doing to, like, create weapons, to ferment alcohol. And when it comes to, like, religion, the, the fucking math people will do to be like this isn't technically a sin if i just put my penis in your vagina and i don't move it oh you'd back to and then humping? someone is like moving the bed force technically i'm not doing it therefore yeah. we're cool you know what i mean look we're cool. jc is like hey it's an earthquake what do you want me to do you know what i mean as if <laughs> as if they're gonna look down and be like well if you look at the fine print it's like you had a dick in there man you chose to do that like that doesn't negate the fact that you weren't moving. All right. Right. Like if you're like, human, Oh, I've human. got this big bomb. It's hanging by a rope. And if the rope snaps, uh -oh. it goes off. Like I didn't do it. It's like, yeah, but you, you got 90% of the way there. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's it, it, the wind blew it down. It's like, yeah, but I mean, you put it up there. So like, what do you want? Right. Like, what are we doing here? Like, I don't, the idea that I don't see what it is it's just I have to say it's probably just desperate dudes being like you know if we do it in the ass like technically speaking I mean it's not the whole you know what I mean like right like I mean I mean show me in the Bible where it says that's wrong and they're like well I mean if you go to Sodom and they're like, well, no right those here. are like two gay guys totally different this is between man and woman it's totally different. <laughs> Hey man, the mental gymnastics people will do, you know, human, to get laid. Human, you know? human morals uh, yeah. and ethics are, uh, they're very bendy. Yeah. You know, very it's bendy. like in the moment they're like, you know, we can't do it. It's like, well, we're not doing it. You know what I mean? Right. We can't do it. But what if we did this other thing instead? Right. What if how we do, did how this? How do you feel about that? And it's like, we're not really doing it. 
Right. But it's going to feel good. We're not really doing it, but we're kind of doing it. But my cousin Kevin, he's going to jump on the bed, <laughs> and then we're really going to do it. And the bed's going to do it for us, and we're totally in the clear. Trust me, I've read the contract. I've read the subscriber <laughs> agreement. It's totally cool. It falls outside the bylaws. We're good to go. You ever heard of the motion of the ocean? Yeah. That applies here. Who do you think makes the motion in the literal ocean? It ain't me. JC. God. JC. <laughs> he creates the wind that creates surface tension off of the water, which then creates the wave. They go into some scientific detail of how the wind works, right. even though they're saying that, you know, JC does it. And they're like, well, uh, wait but, a minute. But also, it's based off of the earth being flat, too. <laughs> Right? It's awful. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Because like, when the moon's out, it has gravitational pull that does with the tides, you know. Right. That's how, you know, because that's, they pull out all the stuff. They're like, are you sure you belong at this school? <laughs> this is MIT. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Janine, we're at MIT. <laughs> we're at MIT. How did you get in me, here? When I was in improv, apparently I named every every female character Janine. That was a note I got from one of really? my classmates. So like, you always That's call weird. people Janine. I go, I do. They're like, yeah. And then yeah. I remember saying it next time. I'm like, I do call them Janine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a great name. This is a great fake name. Janine, get over here. You know, like. Yeah. Janine is a good name for, especially for improv. It's because it's it's also one of those names where it's not going to get lost. I feel like it's a unique enough name where if you mm. call someone Janine, that that sticks. You know, mm -hmm. if you call someone like uh, Deborah or Michelle, yeah. it's those are a exactly. little more common. Name. Janine is there's something with that hard J, like Janine. It, yeah. it sticks a little bit, and it's one of those names where like you can you can inf you can create a character around it. When if you call someone Brantley, you're like, I know who that guy is. You know, like I know exactly. <laughs> right. Who that you guy kind is. of pitch, you kind of pigeonhole that person into what their personality type. Yeah, be. which is good. Which yeah. is fun because they can either take it or they can just be like someone who's just like all of a sudden they speak like a like Dracula, and you're like, oh, I right. didn't see that coming. But like you know, but you give someone that name, you're like, there's something behind that. You know, like if someone's acting a certain way, I'm like, that's a Brantley right there. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> good stuff. So uh, let us know yeah. what you think about the OnlyFans yeah. decal. Uh, is it cool? Is it not? Should uh, this woman be allowed to drop off her kids at the private school because of her OnlyFans link? Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think about all that shit. Yeah. And now it's time for a brand new segment. Justin, take us there. I don't have an intro, so... That wasn't... I Whoa! <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> we're... We're doing that. Let's just, it's mechanical because it deals with AI. There it is. Um, yeah. I'm going to yeah. come. There it is. <laughs> Transition. So we thought, it, we thought it would be fun uh, to do a little game for Doug this week since he got to play a game with me last week. <clears throat> this one we're calling, is it AI or LinkedIn influencer? So we I, decided. Oof, oh boy. This is going to be a real treat. <laughs> So I went through and I called LinkedIn and uh, it was a dark, dark period of time for me, I have to say. Your I'm LinkedIn algorithm is going to be real fucked up now. I thank God I never go on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start getting notification emails. Check out this person that you checked oh. out, you know. Oh, if Check I start out this getting post. those, I'm going to be so angry. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so uh, I went through it. I called LinkedIn, and I found, I found a, a, a series of LinkedIn uh, uh, influencer posts, and I also went on ChatGPT, and I had uh, through a series of prompts, I had ChatGPT uh, generate some very not fun posts uh, for uh, LinkedIn, um, uh, cringy LinkedIn uh, influencer posts is I Ugh. think part of what the prompt was, <laughs> and so I'm gonna play these for I'm gonna I'm gonna so. I, I threw an extra thing. We're going to have AI read these for us, Doug. Okay. So <laughs> actually, that's AI, good. That's, that's AI good. is going to read these. Uh, and if you need, if we need to go back through them, I have them all saved. We can go back through any, any portion of there. All but right. Doug's going to try to figure out, are these LinkedIn influencers, are these AI generated? And I have, I'm going to put it out there right now. I think Doug is going to go, there's eight posts. We're I not going to do Doug, all eight, are we? 
Oh yeah, they're short. Oh, okay, I good. Think, all right. I think Doug is gonna go. I think Doug's gonna get two for eight. You know what? I think I accept that. I think. All that's right, true. here we go. Right, let's see. Here we go. All right, number one, Doug. Is this AI or a LinkedIn influencer? I met a girl tonight. I asked her for her number. She said she doesn't give out numbers to anyone. She asked me if I have Instagram. I said no, but I have LinkedIn. Do you have LinkedIn? She gave me a weird look and walked away. Hashtag LinkedIn strong. Hashtag LinkedIn over Instagram. Oh, that's a good so start. I, I met a girl tonight. I asked her for a number. She said she doesn't give out the numbers to anyone. She asked me, do I have Instagram? I said, no, but I have LinkedIn. Do you have LinkedIn? She gave me a weird look and walked away. Hashtag LinkedIn strong. Hashtag LinkedIn over Instagram. I'm going to say that's AI. You think it's AI? I think it's AI. Doug, it is a real LinkedIn post. My heart wanted that to be AI. My heart wanted that to be AI. That's I was what like, I figured. I was like, a real person would hopefully never be like, do you have LinkedIn to a stranger? That's absurd. I, I know. Like, at, she gave me a weird look and walked away. Rightfully so, sir. Rightfully so. Can you imagine, like, because it sounds he, like he was hitting on her. And then he hashtags LinkedIn over Instagram. Hashtag LinkedIn strong. Dude, just go over to fucking 4chan or wherever else you are and just talk about, you know, join the incel community and talk about how it sucks to be you. Because that's totally okay. a dude, obviously, that did that. Oh, yeah. So, the, all, right. all right. Well, all right, so off to a good start. Oh, and number one. one. Here's, here's number two. Good morning, LinkedIn fam. It's a brand new week filled with endless possibilities. Let's manifest those positive vibes and crush our goals like never before. Remember, you're a rock star and success is your middle name. Hashtag Monday motivation. Hashtag positivity overload. Hashtag goal crusher. See, that seems too generic to me. That seems like okay. way too generic. Like, I mean, that could obviously be a LinkedIn post, but it sounds way too generic. I'm going to say that that one's AI. I'm going with AI on that one. You going with AI on that yeah. one? Doug... Uh oh, hold on. Sorry. Doug, you are correct. All it right. is AI. Halfway All to right. the meeting the goal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I should have known uh, that first one was oddly specific. Then I'm like, I don't know, man. That seems pretty. Uh, yeah. It's interesting. You think that's that's okay? Uh, that's I don't know. Your, we'll see if we'll see if that goes. Right now, I was like specificity. Uh, that okay. that was just way too general to be like Monday. Monday and again, totally could be someone, and I've seen Absolutely, that sort of shit. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. All right, here the we go. hashtags Number are also a nice chef's kiss to all of these. Well, the thing is, like, I, I I realized that every real one had a hashtag, so I'm like, every fake one's gonna have a hashtag too. There you go. Yeah. So I they all it. have hashtags. Here we go. Number three. So I tried to make my elevator pitch in the actual elevator today, and it was more like a stumble and mumble situation. Has anyone else ever accidentally networked in an elevator? Let's share our most cringeworthy career moments. Hashtag networking gone wrong. Hashtag elevator pitch fail. Hashtag career confessions. This sounds like a real sad person. A real sad person. I'm going to say this is a human. This is a person that wrote this. So you're saying this one is a human? Doug. Yeah. <laughs> that is AI. Okay. It was still pretty generic. That is the thing that I that was with us. Pretty generic. <sighs> But I could but, also totally but see something. But it wasn't, wasn't, though, because it was specifically about an elevator pitch. It was, but, like, I don't know, man. It, yeah, I don't know. I, I was, like, I could totally see someone <laughs> writing this. Like, guys, yeah. I tried and failed on something, and it's okay to fail. Share your failures with me so that I can That's become an I, influencer, you know? Exactly. And so we're three in, and how sad is it that <laughs> AI, influ or AI and LinkedIn influencers share the same DNA? Think about that. Well, let me okay. let me ask you this. How many people do you think are posting on LinkedIn with AI? You know what I mean? Ooh, good question. That's right? a fair question, too. Right. All right. And it's just hashtag AI made this. Yeah. All right. So number, number four. Here we go. Signs of a bad follower. You believe liking posts are enough. You scroll but never comment. You have a thought, wow, that is a helpful or impactful post, but never said in a comment or DM. Your friend DM'd you a post but you didn't like it or comment on it. You watch others' polls, but never answer them. If you have all these signs, then you might be a bad follower. Let's fix it. Social media platforms are two-way streets. Stop expecting the world to deliver you value if you aren't giving insights into what you actually like. Ask yourself, am I actively trying to be a part of the community? Everything will be aligned once you say, yes. Don't forget to follow for more. 
Hashtag social media. Hashtag community. Hashtag content creator. This is this is a fucking person. This is a goddamn person who's so mad that people are not engaging with their content. Doug, you think it's a real person? I do. Absolutely correct. That yeah. is a real sad individual. That person's like, you think <sighs> you're helping because you just like it? <laughs> and you're not commenting or DMing? It's like, dude, no, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here for any of this, especially LinkedIn. Get my fucked. Fa- my favorite is at the end where they go, don't forget to follow for more. <laughs> For more what? Yeah, we've got Monday motivation from a fucking computer versus like, how come you don't interact with my content? It's like, well, maybe if you used AI to create something that's going to generate engagement, you know, yeah, maybe you'll get something. Or how about this? This is a hard truth, hard pill to swallow. Maybe people aren't engaging because your content sucks. Because you know what? Same thing for us. We get the same numbers on all our posts. You know what? Maybe we're not interesting, but I don't give a fuck. Because this is the stuff that I think is cool, so that's what I'm posting. Next one! Raise your hand if you're surviving Monday fueled by coffee and pure determination. Let's unite in our coffee coffee story and share our favorite coffee memes. What? Sorry, I meant to play a different one. I, I, yeah, was, I <laughs> That's my bad. I'm like, I don't know that that works, man. So let's play the coffee memes, huh? Raise your hand if you're surviving Monday fueled by coffee and pure determination. Let's unite in our caffeine-induced glory and share our favorite coffee memes. Because, let's face it, coffee is the real MVP. Hashtag coffee addict. Hashtag Monday fuel. Hashtag meme mania. It's gotta be an AI. It's gotta be an AI. It's so generic. So? And it's like, it seems like it's designed to get engagement. You are correct, that is AI. So, Doug, you're three for four now. I'm, I feel like I'm three for five. I think I missed two. One, two, three, four, five. No, you're right. I do not do math. So you are three for I'm five. I'm exceeding well expectations. <laughs> Hoorah. Here we go to the next one. Monday marketing motivation. The modern marketer is an experimenter, a lover of data, a content creator, a justifier of ROI. Hashtag Monday motivation. Hashtag marketing quote. Hashtag digital marketing. Hashtag quotes. Hashtag motivation. Too many hashtags. Ah, this one's a tricky one because it's generic. Talk me through it. It's generic, right? <sighs> yep. It's not. From what I've noticed from like the personal ones, they are not clamoring necessarily for people to respond necessarily. Okay. Um. Although the first one about like you know no because the first one was just a story about how hey, you know you got a LinkedIn baby because I want to connect with you and network. All up in you. a real person, yeah. They're like, no, but I have an OnlyFans and they won't <clears throat> let me drop my kids off at my school. Is that cool? You know? <laughs> um, so Monday motivator. Monday marketing motivation. The modern marketer is an experimenter. A lover of data. Also, the alliteration is part of my favorite in this. It's melting data, my face. A content creator. A justifier of ROI. Hashtag Monday motivation. Hashtag marketing quote. Hashtag digital marketing. <sighs> Hashtag quotes. Hashtag motivation. Hashtags. This sounds like someone blowing themselves over their job, so I'm going to say it's a person. (laughs) You are absolutely correct. I do not know how you're so good at this. I got to give you credit, man. That's fantastic. I'm not that great. Three for three. Or no, you're... Right? Four for six. Are you two? Four... No. Four for six. Yeah, you've only missed two. Right. Four for... I'm glad you're keeping score because I'm not. All right. Here we go! <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we got here? All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Opportunity. Opportunity who? Opportunity is knocking, and it's time to answer with a stellar elevator pitch. Share your best work-related jokes to lighten up the LinkedIn feed. Hashtag work humor. Hashtag AI. jokester in the this office. This is AI. This has got to be AI. Why do you think that? Well, first of all, it's clamoring for engagement. That seems to be like a theme with these where it's like share okay. your sort of thing. Yep. Listen, this is bad and this is cringeworthy. I don't think, I really don't think there's that many people. If this is a person, I need you to send me their profile. 
because I need to, I need to, I need to know who they are so I can avoid them. I can make sure my kid never gets near them. I need to know what state they're in so we can register them with the authorities. Um, because this person is probably going to do something awful in the workforce that's going to involve violence. So I'm saying this is an AI. <laughs> you are correct. It is AI. <laughs> All right, Doug. We got the last one here. Oh, I really enjoy this game, man. <laughs> All right, I'm also amazed at how good you are at this. this Start is, out this rough, is, but now I feel like is, I'm getting. A, I feel like I'm getting a vibe. All right, this one I'll be curious. This one uh, I'll be curious to see how you feel about this one. Here we go. It's the longest one yet. Okay. Actually, I take the bag. Second longest. Strap in. Hashtag gym equipment. Hashtag gym. Hashtag fitness. Hashtag home gym. Pause. Hashtag workout. Hashtag fitness equipment. Hashtag body. Is that all this is? Is hashtags? Like you can't start a post with just hashtags. All right, go continue. Building. Hashtag gym motivation. Hashtag fitness motivation. Hashtag gym life. Hashtag fit. Hashtag CrossFit. Hashtag exercise. Hashtag fit fam. Hashtag gym equipment for sale. Hashtag cardio. Hashtag motivation. Hashtag home workout. Hashtag weightlifting. Hashtag garage gym. Hashtag strength training. Hashtag training. Hashtag power lifting. Hashtag weights. Hashtag fitness addict. Hashtag gym design. Hashtag gym setup. Hashtag yoga. Hashtag diet. Hashtag diet. Dumbbells. <laughs> I was hoping that one would make it. This laugh. is a person. This is a person trying to sell shit and trying to promote their fitness goals. This is a person. <laughs> Six for eight. Not too bad. Oh my god. Woo. <laughs> oh, okay. That was fun. Um. <laughs> So Here's right now, AI, now I know. AI is not as great as everyone wants it to be. Thankfully, we can tell the difference. <laughs> Well, now here's the thing. Now I know what to look for. So I'm gonna next time we do this, I'm gonna adjust my prompts so yeah. that we so that I'm I'm gonna try to I'm gonna see if I can find a more balanced because uh, it was what I noticed is when I was doing this, AI was generating the prompts to be um, as engaging as possible, right? Like it was, it it saw that and it was like, okay, <clears throat> you Probably want, saw the word want, influencer. It's like, oh, you want engagement, yeah. You want engagement. I'm going to engineer these so that it draws, it, there's a call to action. It draws people out. It draws pe people to engage. And so I think, you know, it didn't got, take into account, <laughs> it didn't take into account all the dumb dickery that actual people post. I would be like, adjust your prompt to be like, I'm not a, don't say they're a LinkedIn influencer. I'd be like, I am a, I am a loser who's desperate for a job and attention on LinkedIn. I am the worst of the worst. I desperately want your attention and I'm going to get write, mad at you if you don't engage with my content. Write me a post of an average LinkedIn user. I'm a huge fitness guy who doesn't like to write things up, but use hashtags, <laughs> write a post, a, just hashtags about gym right. culture. A failed influencer uh, who is who of all places, LinkedIn is that where you go for fucking? So that that fitness? was the post. It was it was all gym equipment, gym fitness, home gym workout, fitness bodybuilding, gym motivation, fitness motivation, gym lift, all these things, and then there was a link, and I'm like <laughs> I'm. And then, like, uh, they put all these things, no context, and just, hey, all you like these things? Click on this link. And I was like, you are abusing the system, madam. The amount of people abusing the system. that were that are in my life that will just randomly send me a link to something, like via text or email, and they don't give it any context. I'm like, I don't, I don't want. And it's like, it's not spam or anything. It's just they're like, hey, yeah. And I'm like, I okay, cool. Um, no, I'm not going to click on this. That's lazy yeah. is what that is. It's just like, I pasted a link for you. Watch it. <laughs> cool. What do you think about it? I don't know. Well, that was fucking awesome. That was so much oh, fun. Uh, I, I enjoyed that wow. segment. That was fun. Wow. That was good. Fun for uh, us. Yeah. Fun, fun for all. Let us know. How did you do? Were you able to tell if it was LinkedIn or if it was AI? Post your score in the comments down below. We want to hear about it. Woo! All right, Justin, what do Woo! you have to recommend for this week? I am going to strongly recommend on Netflix right now, uh, nominated for some Academy Awards, Rustin. 
uh, starring Coleman Domingo, Jeffrey Wright, uh, Chris Rock, Lily Kay, a bunch of other people. Uh, Coleman Domingo plays Bayard Rustin, who is uh, an all but forgotten uh, pivotal part of the civil rights movement. He, without him, basically the uh, the march on Washington where Dr. King gave his I Have a Dream speech, that march would not have happened. He almost single-handedly organized that in seven weeks. Wow. And <clears throat> it is, and then I was watching a, an interview with Coleman Domingo and uh, he said, you know, a lot of people uh, in his life, it was always like, I, I feel bad. I, I didn't know anything about this Bayard Rusted. I, I had never heard of him. I, I didn't know anything. I feel horrible. And he would always, he's like, I always tell him, don't feel bad. No one does. He he purposely, because he was a gay black man in uh, the era of civil rights, he was purposefully sidelined. And a lot of people don't know that he was an absolutely integral part at uh, it, it, within that movement. And uh, even people within the movement tried to suppress his voice and tried to distance themselves because they were worried that if they were seen standing with him, that they would be seen as radical and it would hurt the movement. And so you want to talk about just a, just a good, powerful fucking movie about a piece of history that almost no one knows about. Um, the other cool thing is that he looks so much like the original uh, Bayern Rustin, uh, Rustin that uh, he said throughout my career, everyone would, every once in a while, every couple of years, someone would randomly come up to me and just say, you know, if if anyone does a, a biopic on Bayard Rustin at some point, you have to play him. And that's how Coleman Domingo originally found out about this man, did his research and was like, I do have to play him. Absolutely. If you look, there's, if you look at a photo of Dr. King giving a speech at the March on Washington, just over King's right shoulder, about three people back is Bayard Rustin. Hmm. He's standing right there. And it's, it's just, it's such a, it's such a beautifully well done movie. And you really, you get a glimpse into just how impossible it was to be who you were. That's really and, cool. And, and who you are, but it, especially then, it, it's it's heartbreaking, but just fucking gorgeous. So uh, hard, hard, hard recommend on Netflix, Rustin, uh, and I really hope that it pulls uh, it pulls in some some awards come award time. So well, I'm that, absolutely going to add that to my list. I'm definitely going to check yeah. that out. That sounds awesome. Doug, what do you got? Unlike that other shit you recommend. Just kidding. Uh, I... <laughs> No, I, I love hearing stuff like that from people that I trust because I'm immediately like, cool, put it on the list. Um, and it's an hour and 48 minutes. It's an hour and 48 uh, minutes. It's the right length of time. Why can't it be Thank three you. and a half? What? What? It's a it's 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 a biopic about a black person. They, they don't get three and a half hours. Well, February is the shortest month. I uh, mean, you know what? Can't argue with that, unfortunately. Science. Uh, Look, here's the thing. I'll say this: it is a it is a biopic about a black person. It's short, but it made me stay top to bottom. I had, I had over the course of four weeks, sorry, three weeks, I watched Killers of the Flower Moon. It was too long. It was way too long. This grabbed me and didn't let me go until the end, and I fucking loved it. So that's why it's the right amount of bada time. bing. What a pipe. Bada bing. Speaking of, uh. I'd recommend, uh, I'm a fan of this band, Neck Deep. Uh, they are a pop punk alternative rock band. Uh, they very much sound a lot like uh, Blink-182. So if that's kind of Ooh. your jam, they're pretty cool. One they have a new, new album that came out in January, uh, self-titled, called Neck Deep. Uh, I was a big fan of some of their earlier albums that came out a few years back. And uh, some of their newer stuff, I was like, eh, not quite for me. But this one kind of falls back in that vein. Uh, they've got a couple of really good songs in there, like uh, Dumbstruck, Dumbfuck. It's a good one. And uh, Sort Yourself Out. It's another good one. Um, and yeah, in general, it's a it's a real solid album. Ten tracks. Like it a lot. You can check it out on Spotify or obviously wherever you get your you get, get your music. But if you're if you like Blink-182, uh, uh, Four Year Strong, stuff like that, you're probably going to... Uh, um, Newfound Glory, you're probably going to like these guys. And I'm a fan of the new album. So check that out. Right. Woo! What an episode. Thank you, gang, so much for listening, uh, for watching, for subscribing. Please do so. YouTube.com slash MindGapPodcast. Uh, subscribe to us there. Like. Uh, what If you like it and you're here and you're enjoying it, hit that like button. Drop us a comment. I love having, you know, it's nice to have good, positive, constructive conversations with people. It's great. It's fun. Uh, but give us your thoughts in those comments. We appreciate you. Um, check the link in the description for our Discord server. Uh, we'd love to have you there. Be part of the family. Be sure to check me out on Fridays right here, YouTube.com 
youtube.com slash podcast for the video game stream. Links in the description for our merch at Redbubble and our Patreon. And all follow us on all our social media at MindGapPodcast and check out Justin as well. On uh, Instagram at Justin underscore Michael, spelled M-I-K-E-L. <clears throat> it's the fun way of spelling it. Also, OnlyFans.com slash Justin underscore Michael. You can it's not explicit. There. It's not explicit. I just do feet stuff mm. uh, every Thursday. So His handle enjoy. is I'm going to get them toes is what it's called. <laughs> Uh, anywhere that you can find and consume quality podcasts, you can find and consume us. So go ahead and share, subscribe, rate, review, all those things. The big one is sharing because it's caring. Please let people know we exist. It goes such a long way. You can either share us on, you know, uh, on social, on the, um, any of the podcast apps, or if you're watching this on YouTube, just hit the uh, share button, copy the link, send it out to someone say, Hey, these guys are kind of funny. Check them out. We would really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ahead of time. I've said thank you, so you have to do it now. Otherwise, it's an empty thank you. TuiStaith.com, TuiStaith on all social media, loveandimprovfilm.com, and loveandimprovfilm on Instagram. Woo-woo! Gang, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We love you very much. And with that, I'll say, Justin, thank you. Douglas, thank you. Listeners, viewers, thank you. And you all, have a dandy fucking week. Mind Gap Podcast.